They are the ones who are going to do it. I can't do any more. From numerous nods by Terry Gilliam to Will Smith's Wild West, to the adventures in the Kingdom of Reese and Bioshock's Columbia, steampunk is alive and well. And a new exhibit at the Ontario Science Centre examines the marriage between two very different, yet very beautiful technologies. Sam, what is this Difference Engineers exhibit at the Ontario Science Centre? This is a project by myself and two colleagues from the University of Toronto Master of Museum Studies program. I thought that the public should have an idea of what steampunk is. It's appearing more in film and TV and I was lucky enough to meet up with two students who agreed it was a great idea and so thus the whole thing began. Now, steampunk, of course, is kind of a marriage of like old tech and new tech. Why do you think it works so well? I guess I like the idea of the functionality of new technology married to the beauty of Victorian technology and just the life that old technology has. If you look at an iPhone or a computer, I can't divine how it works. It may as well be magic to me. But if you look at a train powered by steam, you can see each piece and how they work together. And I find that exciting. <laughs> kind of makes it more accessible to like fix or get in there and kind of modify it if you absolutely had to, doesn't it? Yeah, I believe so. I think it makes it more open to hands-on and people who want to play with technology. I, I do think it's more accessible. You're certain of that. But what are some of your personal favorite pieces that we're seeing here today? I don't want to play favorites, but I have to definitely point out the X gentlemen costumes, which are steampunk versions of X-Men. We have Cyclops and Shadowcat. They were really the inspiration for the whole exhibition. What well, can you tell me about the Pac-Man steampunk game that's being developed? The Pac Machina was made by Jonathan at Site3, and it's going to be a complete game, but this is what he has for now. It's actually powered by gears and it will open and close its mouth. It's in a beautiful wooden frame. He's, he's done a, a great job with it. This Difference Engineers exhibit is really cool, I gotta say. What do you hope people who come here and see this exhibit walk away with? I hope they walk away with an understanding of what steampunk is. The aesthetic has been very prevalent in film and TV, and I want people to be able to put a name to the aesthetic. And I'd like people to ask themselves about technology in their lives and maybe reassociate those feelings of wonder and awe with science and technology that maybe existed in the Victorian era and people don't really feel as much anymore.